Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Man, we had an exciting week this week, didn't we? Because all this week, uh, we had two videos instead of one. So you had an extra Magic video every single day because we were looking at the 2022 Tenyo line. Uh, every year, Tenyo puts out four or five tricks and they always pre-drop the trailer. We get all excited about them and they even pre-release the tricks uh, the year before. And a lot of people uh, buy these up pretty quickly because they collect Tenyo items. Some people even buy two. They'll buy one to open and one to play with and they'll save the other one because sometimes Tenyo items become very collectible. You can go out on eBay and find some of these for a, a, a pretty hefty price tag. And so uh, we saw all these drop and uh, Penguin had them all uh, for sale. And so I purchased these. I purchased all five with my own money. And so we're going to look at all five of them this week. This one is Phone Appetite. All right, so Phone Appetite, what is it? It is a phone bite trick. So just like coin bite or key bite or Oreo bite, any trick where you have an object and you take a bite out of it and spit it and it pops back together. Uh, that's what this is, but it's done with a cell phone of all things. Um, the other weird part of this was you don't use your mouth. <laughs> um, in the trailer, well, even in the trick, right? So let's say you pay your $12 to penguinmagic.com. What are you going to get? Uh, you get the cell phone, right? You get the cell phone and uh, you get a face mask, a face mask with big cartoony lips and you wear the face mask and you put the phone to the face mask and somehow through the face mask, you're able to bite a cell phone in half and then spit it back together. I, I, when we saw the trailer drop, there were so many questions, so many questions. And I really thought, you know, when I get this and open it and go through it, all my questions will be answered. They were not. So is it what I thought? Uh, no, it, is, it isn't even, even what I thought. Because I thought for my 12 bucks, I would get a, like a plasticky cell phone, like a, like a toy phone that like hinged. That's not what I got. I got a flat piece of plastic, flat. And I had to build the dimensions into it. In fact, it was so crappy, um, I had to use my own glue. I had to use my own adhesive from the garage and wait for it to cure overnight because the adhesive that came with this was garbage. And just the whole setup and reset Putting it together yourself was awful. It, it looks terrible. All right. So, <laughs> so yeah, I didn't think I would have to build it myself. Is it well-made? I said it was garbage, right? I said it was garbage. <laughs> um, even though you have to build it yourself, it's still not well-made. I think whoever, whoever gets this from me is going to get mine already built. So you're lucky. How's the PDF? How's the teaching? Um, you always have to download the English instructions with Tenyo items. Uh, Tenyo comes with paper uh, instructions that are, are, are fine, but if you want them in English, you have to download the PDF off the internet. The PDF was two pages because it's not hard, right? The hardest part is putting it together. Um, and doing the trick isn't that hard. Uh, it's awkward. And watching the trailer doesn't help you. I actually chose to do this trick on TikTok my own way. So, and if you saw me do it on TikTok, I didn't use the mask. I didn't. I just covered my angles because I was doing it for, you know, a camera. So I just made sure my angles were right to cover that. But even then it's hard. And I think that's why they want you to wear the mask is to cover some of those funny angles. But that's a weird solution because you're supposedly sticking it in your mouth and you've blocked your mouth with fabric. Yeah. Pocket space is, it is the size of a cell phone. It is. And uh, it's not exactly uh, sturdy, so it's kind of a delicate object. So I would want to keep it in a pocket that wasn't going to get bent or folded or sat on. How are the angles? Uh, they're awful. 
they're awful. Which is why I think the mask is there. But I already said the mask doesn't make any sense, right? So let's just recap. The product is garbage and the angles are awful. Moving on. Can it be inspected? <laughs> Can it be inspected? Uh, no. It can't even be inspected in real in 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 performance. Like they're not even holding it, right? They're not even holding it, and they're looking at you holding it, and they can clearly see that it's not a real phone. It's obvious. I mean, they could be a mile away, and they would know it wasn't a real phone. Positives, um, it's good for a laugh. Negatives. When you buy this and open it, you will laugh. Is it worth your money? Ugh. I mean, 12 bucks, I should have known. I should have known that it wasn't going to be what I expected for 12 bucks. Probably what I was expecting would have been a lot more money. So, yeah. All the Tenyo tricks just kind of felt like junky kids toys this year. And, I mean, just my personal opinion, but that's kind of what they are. The Tenyo tricks have always had a level of sophistication to them. And I think that's what's made them so endearing. You know, they kind of catch you off guard, even for magicians. You know, you, you see something and you're like, oh, that looks like some sort of, you know, toy magic trick. But then when the per performer does it, they kind of break your expectations. And you're like, oh, wow, that was actually kind of cool. Which is what I think makes Tenyo so cool. This year, they look like kids' toys and they were. And with this one, I mean, this is absolute garbage. I would expect something like this to be in the dollar store. That's where it belongs. So I will actually be giving away all five Tenyo tricks in January. So in January, I'll be doing a New Year's giveaway. I'll give away all five Tenyo tricks to one lucky person. And the way you find out about that and enter is just to like this video and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then hit those notifications so that when the contest airs in January, you will be notified. I also did a previous contest already in the membership section. Uh, sometimes the members get previews for what's coming out and I showed them all five tenure tricks a week ago and I asked them to pick the lineup for which uh, trick I would review every single day. And so I picked Crawdini's lineup and so he won the giveaway in the membership section and I will be mailing him something cool. All right, that's everything I can say about Phone Appetite from the 2022 Tenyo line. Like I said, I purchased all of these with my own money from penguinmagic.com and if you wanna buy them, that's where I would go to. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would? Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside and I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.